Well, everybody, it's that time again. Another episode of the Hot Seat, week six. I have several coaches that I could put on the hot seat, namely Hugh Freeze and Mike Norvell, who have made the hot seat their home. But never mind them this week. I'm going to give them a pass this week, okay, because I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger fish to fry. So let's go ahead and get into the video. And the first head coach that's going on the hot seat this week is damn coach Kalen DeBoer, my head coach, the head coach of my Alabama Crimson Tide. I am appalled. I am ashamed of what I saw yesterday out of my Alabama Crimson Tide. Coach Kalen DeBoer, where is the discipline? Where is the discipline? I'm tired of seeing Jalen Miro dancing in the end zone after he damn scored. How in the hell are you allowing players to dance, laugh, and giggle when they losing? That is not the Bama standard. It seems like the damn Bama standard retired with damn Nick Saban. I don't know what I'm looking at now, man. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you got Malachi Moore throwing 10 temple tantrums at the end of the damn game. You got players laughing and giggling when they down by 11 points in the fourth quarter. Where is the discipline? Where is the intensity? Where is the physicality? It seems like Alabama football is a thing of the past. I mean, damn, I understand it's only one loss. We sitting at four and one right now. I understand we beat the George Bulldogs, but guess what? Beating the Georgia Bulldogs didn't win us nothing but a regular season game. That is all it won. It was nothing to really celebrate. But to beat the Georgia Bulldogs, one of the best teams in the nation, and then come out the very next week and lose to one of the worst teams in the nation, you should be ashamed, Coach Kalen DeBoer. I know it's your first year. Some people say we should give you a pass. But KB ain't giving you no, no pass because you know with all your interactions with Coach Nick Saban, or former Coach Nick Saban, there is a standard at Alabama. You know this. You know this. And for you to sit back and allow your defense coordinator, Kane Womack, to have his defense looking the way it looked yesterday, and you don't say shit, you and Coach Kane Womack, it's down there on the sidelines together. Go slap his ass around a little bit. Cuss his ass out. Pull a Nick Saban move. But, of course, Coach Kalen DeBoer, he don't curse. But I tell you what, you can put some some, some daggone uh, metaphors in his damn ear so he can get an understanding of what you really trying to say. Um, I, I mean, this, this what we saw yesterday, out of our Alabama Crimson Tide, and yeah, as fans, we call them our Alabama Crimson Tide. Because guess what, Coach Kalen DeBoer, we've been here longer than you, and we understand the SEC, and we understand the Alabama standard. And one thing about it, you better get an understanding, and you better get an understanding of it quick. Because we Alabama fans ain't finna have this. You're going to hear, you already got Alabama fans calling for your head after a very first loss. So this should tell you something. I hope you read all the damn papers. I hope you look at every damn Bama YouTube channel. I hope you look at the media. Watch Paul Fine Mom too and see how people talking about you. College football fans, Alabama fans. Watch how they talking about you. Now I know you come from the Pac-12 and you come from Sioux Falls, NAIA, and you ain't nothing but a winner. And I'm going to give you credit for this. But guess what? You got to be a winner in the SEC. You got to be a winner in the, in, at, at the University of Alabama. One big win don't give you a pass for a bad loss. Not wrong old KB, I can tell you that right now. I mean, hey, hey, you, you, you better get your shit together. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, I'm not one of the ones calling for, for your head, uh, uh, Coach Kevin DeBoer, because I believe in you. i seen your resume. i seen your track record. And it's great. And I believe in you. You got a big win out of the first four games as your as as an Alabama head coach. I understand that. And I give you credit for all that. But you got to be consistent when you're at the helm 
of my Alabama Crimson Tide. You got to be consistent. You can't win a big game this week and lose against some mediocre opponent the next week and then come back and win enough. No, that we, we, we can't have that. Shit, we got Tennessee coming up. Come on now. You know they, they, they might have lost yesterday, but they are a great team. We got Tennessee coming up. We got Oklahoma coming up. Auburn don't look that good, but they play Alabama tough just in case you didn't know. That is the Iron Bowl. <clears throat> that is a big game for both Alabama and Auburn. Just in case, I'm just warning you, okay? I know this is your first year. You might not know that. You ain't never experienced the Iron Bowl, but it's a big deal in Alabama, and it's a big deal in the SEC. I don't give a damn about no Washington versus Washington State or Washington versus Oregon or Washington versus USC. I don't give a damn about none of that. All I give a damn about is my Alabama Crimson Tide. And them losing to Vandy is fucking unheard of. First time losing to Vandy in 40 fucking years. First time Vandy beating a top five opponent in 60 freaking years, I believe. I mean, and it had to be my Alabama Crimson Tide. And some people calling this the worst loss in college football history, which I don't believe that because it have been some worse losses, but it's a damn shame. It's an embarrassment to every Alabama fan. We can't have this shit. I'm going to tell you that right now. And guess what? Us Alabama fans is not accepting no more of this shit. I mean no damn more. I mean, Jesus. I mean, what? How? how, how, how I can't put it in no other words. I'm going to tell you that. I can't put it in no other damn words. I mean, you got every damn fan base laughing at us. We are the laughing stock of all the college football. And guess what? Even if we get a win next week, if we can win out the damn season, people still going to be talking about, well, y'all lost to Vandy. Still, we can win the national championship. Y'all lost to Vandy. We can win the SEC championship. Damn, y'all lost to Vandy. At least we ain't lost to Vandy. That's what people are going to be saying. It's a damn shame. And we're going to have to hear this. And man, oh, Lord. I don't even think a national championship can take this away. A Jesus. Not with other fan bases. It might will for Alabama fan bases. We can say, well, we're the national champions. So what? We lost to Vandy. Y'all couldn't beat us. Well, guess what? They still going to be saying but you lost to Vandy. I'm going to tell you that right now. Vandy might win, what, one or two more games? I ain't even got their damn schedule up. But I can damn sure pull it up. Vandy probably got one, two, maybe three game, three more games they can win. I don't fucking know, man. Jesus, man. Ball State, Texas, Auburn, South Carolina. Yeah, they might not win but one more game against Ball State because they got Texas and Auburn and South Carolina and Tennessee and LSU. So that, that might be the last, the biggest win is the last win against my Alabama Crimson Tide. Well, next to the last win because I think, I don't know if they'll beat Ball State because guess what? Our Alabama Crimson Tide under coach Kalen DeBoer lost, uh, lost to a team that lost to Georgia State. Oh, man, how damn embarrassing. Coach Kelly the boy, I'm telling you, you deserve to be on the hot seat. Now, I don't want people to get it mixed up. He's not really on the hot seat with Alabama alum, Alabama AD or president. This is just old KB is, KB's hot seat, just so y'all don't get it twisted. Talking about KB calling for Coach uh, Kalen DeBoer's head. No, KB is not. This is something I do every damn week to all coaches who lose. But guess what? My coach lost, and he's on there today. He deserves the same treatment as every other head coach that lose. That's all I'm saying. And my coach, my head coach, deserve it more because guess what? He lost a damn Vanderbilt. Don't make no sense. I don't even know when the last time Vanderbilt, well, I think it was 2022. It was 2022. They beat Florida. That's the last time they had a damn a damn SEC win. Uh, but who would have thought that – Kalen DeBoer will come into the SEC and lose to Vanderbilt. Looking at his track record, looking at his resume, all the teams that he done beat, after he beat daggone, daggone Curry Smart and them George Bulldogs, who would have thought that he, that he would have allowed his team to lose to damn Vanderbilt? I damn sure didn't. This is hmm, it's almost unspeakable. It's almost unspeakable. But hey, shit happens. We just gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Coach Kalen DeBoer. 
and fix this shit. And you better fix it fast. I'm telling you right now. Because guess what? I'm not, I might not be calling for your head today. But uh, take two or three more of them. Take two or three more losses like this. Uh, no, 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 no. I understand it's your first year in the SEC. I understand it's your first year at the helm of Alabama Crimson Tide. And some people feel like, hey, you should get a pass. The first season don't count. Hell no. Hell no. Alabama fans don't have that damn mentality. We don't give no damn passes. If you the head coach, you better win. That's all I know. Now, you could come out and win out. Alabama can come out and win out, but I don't have no confidence that they will. And I'm going to tell you why in a few in, the, in a couple of minutes. But they could come out and win, win out on the Coach Kelly DeBoer, win the SEC, and roll on to the playoffs. But guess what? <laughs> It'll surprise the hell out of me if that happens. Because we have a lot of shortcomings, and discipline is one damn of them. Lack of leadership is one of them. We got all we got team captains, Mr. Malachi Moore, Mr. Uh, uh, Tyler Booker, Mr. Damn, Mr. Damn, uh, uh, Jalen Miro. Y'all are team captains. Deontay Lawson, stand up, goddamn it, stand up. Y'all need to pull a goddamn yeah, shit. Y'all need to pull something. Pull something out your ass. Miro, you need to be the next goddamn team, Tim Tebow and go the fuck off for the rest of the damn season. Y'all remember when Tim Tebow, after they took that damn L, Tim Tebow got up there in front of his damn team, in front of the media. We ain't losing no more. And they didn't lose no damn more. Jalen Miro, you need to take that approach. Or uh, guess what? Or uh, 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 they don't make those caliber of players anymore. I don't know. I don't know, but I would like to find out. Especially for my Alabama Crimson Tide. What kind of leader are you, Jalen Miro? What kind of leader are you, Tyler Booker? What kind of leader are you, Malachi Moore? What kind of leader are you, Deontay Lawson? What kind of, How can you come back from this, Kalen DeBoer? What are you going to do about it? And the rest of the assistant, assistant coaches. What are y'all going to do about it? I, I want to know. And I would like to see. I, I don't give a damn if we come out and, 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 and blow goddamn or, or South Carolina out the water. Still won't have no confidence. None. Because my confidence is shot. Now, I love my Alabama Crimson Tide. But my confidence in them right now is shot. And, and, and I believe that goes for most Alabama fans. There wasn't a time in this game until I'll say the last mm, five minutes in the fourth quarter that I thought my Alabama Crimson Tide was going to lose this game. Not even a doubt. But I was also upset at the way they played. And the way they played caused them to lose the damn game. We can put it all on the defense. With a majority of the blame go over there. But guess what? The offense, they had issues too. Penalties. We had some penalties on the offensive side of the ball. Jalen Miro missed some throws. But through it all, the offense still played well enough to win. But they had a hand in this loss too. But I'm going to put a majority of the loss on the freaking coaches. On the freaking coaches. Lack of discipline, lack of uh, making adjustments. Like I said in my last video, dang on, my, my damn, the morning after, 612 passing yards given up the last six quarters. Nine touchdowns has been given up in two games. 74 points has been given up in two games. When and where did that ever become the Alabama standard? Like I say, that shit done went out the window or retired with Nick Saban. Because it ain't the same no more. But I'm not saying we can't get it back. But uh, it ain't showing that we can. I'm going to just put it like that. And I'm holding... Coach Kalen DeBoer, 
responsible. I'm calling you out, Coach Kalen DeBoer. I'm putting you on the hot seat, on KB's hot seat. That's it. I got to hold you responsible because you took the job as the head man. You are the head ball coach of my Alabama Crimson Tide. You need to act like it. You might need to uh, get out of your ways and start uh, doing a little bit of cursing. Because playing this Mr. Nice Guy and, and, and dang on making this friendly environment, you let my Alabama Crimson Tide fall to the wayside. At least the, the standard, you're letting it fall to the wayside. And then, and then these team captains or any type of leaders, they'll make sure that that shit don't happen because they know and experience the Bama standard. A lot of shit that's happening would never, would never happen under Coach Nick Saban. So Jalen Milrow, Malachi Moore, Elijah Pritchett, all you guys that have been in that program for at least two years, y'all need to act like Coach Saban is still there. That ain't, that ain't goddamn stepping on Coach uh, 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 Kayla DeBoer's toes. That's just making sure you playing winning damn football. And, and, and Coach uh, 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 Kayla DeBoer, get your head out your ass. Make sure the adjustments are made. And don't let this shit happen again. So with that being said, Coach Kayla DeBoer, welcome. To the hot seat. And next on the damn hot seat is my Alabama Crimson Tide defensive coordinator. All I can ask you, Kane Womack, is what the hell was that? What the hell was that? You can take that damn 4 2 5, this damn swarm defense, the wolves and bandits, take that shit right back to, to fucking Mobile, Alabama, to, to USA, Universal South Alabama. Take that shit right on back because it ain't working. At the University of Alabama, it ain't working for my Alabama Crimson Tide. It ain't working for the SEC. I can tell you that right now. I just gave you the numbers. 612 passing yards given up in the last six quarters. Nine freaking touchdowns. 74 motherfucking points in the last two games. That's a damn shame. Either they scoring touchdowns or kicking field goals. Can't get off the field on third down. Can't get off the field on fourth down. Last two games, teams five for five on fourth down. Yesterday, Vandy, 12 of 18 on third down. That's despicable. That's despicable. Just look at the number numbers and it might pop into your mind. Oh, I need to change some shit. But I don't know about you, Kane Womack, because guess what? You seeing it happen real time and you won't make no kind of damn adjustments. Damn shame. Evidently, you ain't teaching these daggone defensive players how to tackle, which a lot of them been in football quite a while. They should know how to tackle any damn way. One of the shit, that shouldn't even have to be taught once you become a sophomore, junior, senior. That shouldn't have to be taught. This damn defense that you done brought to my Alabama Crimson Tide, throw that shit out the window. Start from damn scratch. You might need to go back and look at some film from some of these Nick Saban's defenses. Matter of fact, you can even go back and look at film from when Jeremy Pruitt was there. Hell yeah. Kevin Steele last year. Go back and look at those films. Come on now. It's a travesty right now. Go back and look at some of those films. You can revamp that shit. Try it this week against South Carolina. Try to do something that Jeremy Pruitt used to do. Try to do some shit that motherfucking Kevin Steele was doing last year. Matter of fact, you so damn bad, you might can even take a page out of daggone Pete Golden's book. And you know, and every Alabama fan know how we felt about Pete Golden. But I'll tell you what, shit. We, we might, <laughs> from the, what we seen yesterday, Pete Golden just might be a, be a little bit better. Fuck it, a lot better. Stop lying to yourself, KB. Pete Golden might be a lot better after what we seen last season. I mean, last uh, last night or yesterday, however you want to put it. It don't make no damn sense, man. Third down, 
defense is freaking terrible. At one time, you had the media tell me, oh, Alabama is the best third down uh, defense there is. Well, not no more. I guess that went to your damn head, came on, Matt. I mean, damn, how many times can a team run the same damn play and it worked before you change? I mean, that same play. Georgia did it last week. And they did it this week. And you guess what? You didn't change nothing up. You just sit back and let it happen. Oh, we'll stop it the next time. And next time never happens. Shit don't make no damn sense. It's, it's, it's pathetic, man. It's pathetic, man. It's damn pathetic. Man, we come, you came, Will Mac and these players talking all this shit in the offseason about this defense. We're going to play free. We're going to play fast. And guess what? Just giving us Alabama fans false hope. That's what it was. False damn hope. Matter of fact, damn that fucking, fucking Kane won't make you on the hot seat along with the whole damn defense. Hell yeah, I'm putting the whole defense on the damn hot seat too. The players damn too. Jahad Campbell, learning how to fucking tackle. Deontay Lawson, learning how to be in the right place on damn time. Defensive line, how about you get some type of penetration? You're being out physical. You're being dominated in the trenches. You've been that way the last two damn games. Well, the last six quarters. You played pretty good against in the first half against Georgia. But the last six quarters, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even be confident in y'all going up against a damn junior college right now. And I'm talking about the whole entire defense. That's just a lack of confidence that old KB got in his Alabama Crimson Tide defense. I don't have any confidence that, that they are going to go into a game against a junior college and dominate them, not looking at this these last six quarters. Hell yeah, they deserve to be on the damn hot seat. Goddamn secondary can't, can't, can't cover themselves with, with a damn blanket in the middle of winter. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Goddamn, goddamn, Xavier Brown, I know you made a great play last week. I know you're a young, true freshman, but, but you need to step it up. You're getting beat all the damn time. Malachi Moore back there and Devontae Smith, I mean, Keon Saw. What's going on at the damn safety position? Y'all all out of whack, too. I mean, it's, it, they got four down. And it's four down and one. And they score like a damn 45, 50-yard touchdown. Where are y'all at? I tell you where you was at, trailing the damn receiver. Two, two of y'all. Don't make no sense. Mm, mm, mm. Demonte Jackson, what the hell are you doing besides nothing? Because your damn show didn't do nothing yesterday. Matter of fact, nobody on the defense did a goddamn thing yesterday. It make, you, it make Bama fans sick to their stomach to have to watch what they watched yesterday. I know a lot of Bama fans probably turned that shit off. Hoping when they, if they get to turn it back on, it'll be a different story. But no. Uh, what? Can't, coach, Coach, uh, uh, Kalen DeBoer had, I don't even know why he didn't try onside kick with the damn way that defense was playing. Just give him a damn short field. Hell, yeah, at least they get in the red zone, it's kind of condensed. But they ain't like, we just stopped them any damn way. Coach Kane won't make your, your goddamn defense is horrible. I'm going to tell you that now. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, this is just, uh, man, this this is worse than the, what we seen yesterday. Mike Shula teams didn't even play that bad. Mike Shula defenses didn't play that bad. Mike Shula didn't even lose to fucking Vandy. Lord have mercy. We need to get this defense fixed, and we need to get it fixed fast. And it's on you, Kane Womack, and you too, Coach Kalen DeBoer. All these words I'm speaking, y'all deserve it. Because it don't make no damn sense. The performance that my Alabama Crimson Tide put on yesterday in, in that daggone Nashville, Tennessee, against them damn Vanderbilt Commodores. It got to feel bad that y'all become a head coach of a team and a team that 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 ain't beat Alabama in 40 years, beat them in your first year. That got to be a hard pill to damn swallow. 
40 fucking years. 19 and 84. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. But I guess shit happens. Every team have a bad loss every now and then. Alabama ain't the first team to lose to Vanderbilt. And they won't be the last. But guess what? That ain't, you can't take no solace in that if you're an Alabama fan. Because this has got to be the worst feeling an Alabama fan has felt in a long time. Really, since 2007, when Alabama lost to ULM in Nick Saban's first year. Well, the feeling is back. People might say, well, you lost to another SEC team. SEC team. Bullshit. Bullshit. It's Vandy. Everybody's supposed to beat Vandy. Especially Alabama. Come on, man. This defense, no gap integrity, man. To my playing without discipline. Well, your eyes was all over the goddamn place yesterday. I mean, all over the place. They damn sure wasn't disciplined, I can tell you that. I don't know what the hell Coach Kane, Kane Womack could have been saying on that sideline to, to that defense. I mean, it really ain't nothing he can say. Because he ain't got no damn game plan other than what he go in the game with. Because he ain't changing shit. It's a damn travesty that the same play or the same two, three, four plays can work time after time after time after time to pick up first downs. I'm sh they want to use it but two or three plays to pick up every damn third down or first down. Makes no sense. But it is what it is. So I'm going to get off your case, Kane Womack, but I'm sure I'll probably be back on it this daggone season. Because like I said, all confidence is gone. All right? And last but not least, last but, well, but first, Coach Kane Womack, welcome to the hot seat. And last, well, I ain't going to even do that. I was about to put them damn Georgia Bulldogs fan base on the hot seat, but I'm not going to do that. Because guess what? We deserve everything that we get from the Georgia Bulldog fan base. All I can say is the Georgia Bulldog fan base, you celebrating like your Georgia Bulldogs beat my Alabama Crimson Tide. They did. All right, let's set the record straight. My Alabama Crimson Tide beat your Georgia Bulldogs. Your Georgia Bulldogs lost to a team that lost to Vandy. So celebrate that, okay? And for all you Georgia Bulldog fans, Talking about y'all told us. Well, guess what? Y'all told us a lot of shit that y'all been wrong about. Because y'all are a whole bunch of liars when it comes to Alabama. You never thought in your life that Alabama would lose to Vandy. All right? But hey, it is what it is. Shit happened. But like I said, everything the George Bulldog fan base giving us and everything the college football world is giving us, we deserve it. Because us Alabama fans talk a lot of shit. And yes, we are cocky because we are confident up until last night. But anyway, that's speaking for myself. But we are cocky. We are confident because our Alabama Crimson Tide has given us the right to be that way. Has given us the right. So just because we take a loss, don't give no other fan base the right to talk, especially when your team can't beat us. All right. But losing to Vandy. Bring it on. Okay, we can take it. All right. Just like I'm here when Alabama win, I'm here when Alabama lose. No matter to who, who it is, I'm going to be here. I ain't going to tuck my tail and run. I ain't going to tuck my tail and hide like a, a lot of other fans do. If I can talk the talk, I should be able to walk the walk when my Alabama Crimson Tide lose. And if you talk the talk, be able to walk the walk when your team lose. Because I'm going to be right back at you talking this, the same shit that I always talk. But it is what it is. So bring it. You, you, you got reason to talk shit to KB. And hey, it is what it is. So hey, I can't, I can't speak on Hugh Freeze and, and Mike Norvell. Hell, I can't even speak on Josh Hyper. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to take my little beating. And, 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 and patch up my wounds 
And guess what? I live to fight another day because I know somewhere along the line, my Alabama Crimson Tide going to put a smile back on my face. I do know that. When? I don't know. Because guess what? I ain't got no defense. <laughs> but anyway, man, that concludes this version of the hot seat. So uh, Coach Kalen DeBoer and Coach Kane Womack, welcome to the hot seat.